I am Mel Alton, son of a carpenter. No, dad a carpenter worked on skyscrapers. Mom Marianne. I am the son of carpenter. I get to tell parables. And I also get to answer prayers. Who's up first? Well, hello, Leo. What's on your mind? Your business is failing. You want to know if I can help? Well, Leo, first thing you need to do is put your business on flash drive and DVD. It's the way to go around. Censorship on the internet. Oh, I uh, I upload to youtubecom slash DNFD series and uh, I make videos of the links also for a portfolio. YouTube uh, Melton Four Imagery Number Four the Digit Four, and I tell everyone that's uh. Censorship, and I tell them how to document it. You get that link, you make a video of 20 of your friends going to see that link. An individual video, and it still says zero views or one view. A document, internet fraud. And, uh, yeah, while you're at it, make a video of America's Hijack Lifelines, 424-229-4140. I've been asking for a 911 Flight 93 check for over a decade. I have yet to get one. No certified mail, no non-certified mail, no FedEx, no UPS, no private carrier. Make that video of your hijack call. Whoever's in the room there with you, their phone your cell phone makes the video make a video of their family's lifeline not working and called Americans for unhijacked lifelines and fairly elected officials so you get whatever boring thing you get when you try to call me phone ringing every message business signal get to leave a message I don't get it you'll show up on my caller ID I put those call logs on youtube.com slash DNFD series Look for the Melton's call log videos and uh, also look for my Tommy's there and uh, my uh, oh, stigmata eyes, uh, my tabletop art, my chest imagery. <coughs> and whatever you might see on this side of the camera, <coughs> the video, I always figure it can't be too mean, can't be too off the wall, it can't. Well, it can never be too funny because I don't get any comments not one comment uh, about that Osama room that Obama is Osama's son yes uh, censorship of our phones of our lifelines it's not just business censorship when you're getting phone ring every message busy signal you get to leave a message but I don't get it you're doing that with countless other customers that you gauge livelihood, your spectrum of livelihood, so they can get the business instead of you, even though you do a better job. When it comes to politics, that's how they place a cowardly Hussein in our White House, right after we got attacked by a whole lot of cowardly Husseins. It's also how they put the buffoon Russian guy in there. That's where the ruble stops. I got to Google that. Of course, I can't always trust my Googles. I got to Google and see if it's a uh, ruble. Uh, I know it's not peso. It's where the buck stops. I'm not a fan of either of those. I'm a fan of truth. We all should be, especially when our lifelines are being hijacked by lies. Make that video, whatever you get when you don't get me. 424-229-4140. Make the video, post the video, come see me in person. I have Whip Will Travel Show with a perfect place to build Jesus as a Mac. What else? Build Jesus' house. With these rebuilding eyes, I'm going to show you. Grow a new pair, got to grow a whole new body. I build Jesus as a Mac. What house?
Call every church you got in your phone book. See that you can reach them, then try to call me. To tell me what you believe. Doesn't have to be anything here in church. To ask what I mean by Jesus is in the house, and you're going to see religious censorship, the kind that can place a guy with a very Muslim name. That cowardly who say. Kind of religious censorship that can attack us from the outside, then attack us from the inside. With that, politically correct attack. Make that video of that religious censorship. You can't call me up, tell me what you believe. You can't call me up, uh, tell me anything about my imagery, my videos. Uh, can't ask me what I mean by Jesus' house. Oh, cities, communities, not just those places you go to on Sunday. But the best mankind has to offer in those homes. Now, uh, I'm going to do the sugar check. Yes, bro. Growing a new pair of eyes, Bill Jesus is a Michael House with these eyes. Uh, apparently, it takes a whole lot of blood sugar. And as I say often, this is medical research being passed by. You'd think doctors and blind folks would be interested in uh, eyes growing anew. And I will get back to uh, Leo. As I finish up this parable, I want to make it quick. I've 191. I got some stuff to do today. Notice a screw missing on gold here. Oh, my wheelchair. Oh, he's gold. And uh, yeah. High ho silver, high ho gold. But I noticed two screws missing. I had noticed one screw on the floor a week and a half, two weeks ago, and I didn't know what it was. Uh, I picked it up, put it in the bag. I looked around, didn't see any. It looked on gold. I didn't notice. It's coming from the, uh, I'm not sure what it is. Uh, but uh, it's around the, the main axle bolt, if that's what it's called. And both of them is, and I was, you know, got a screwdriver, put one back in, a Phillips head screwdriver, I don't think would be um, something incredibly important, but I don't know. So I got to call and find out. And now back to my parable. Leo, yes, uh, put your business on DVD, on flash drive, and, uh, there is a handsome bald artist in Eagle Rock. It's a neighborhood in northern Los Angeles. And he can uh, design you imagery that will drive folks into your business. Well, all of these uh, wallet size, driver's license, credit card size cards are a very readable. If you have a little trouble reading them, well, just get out the 2 to a 4 by 6 photo. This is 4 to a 4 by 6 photo. What's a 4 by 6 photo? 15 cents, give or take. A nickel. Get yourself a nice business image designed by Melton to drive folks into your business. And, uh, oh, here's the 2 to a 4 by 6 photo. Let me show you a few of those as I prepare to go show you my eyes. Oh, there's that handsome ball guy, Noel. He got his big eye on this, his, a DVD on this uh, chest there. Oh, he, it's not a card, but. Get yourself some imagery design, but you gotta do it in person because of censorship. You have medical research censorship as well. 4260 Egorak Boulevard, apartment 409, Los Angeles, California, 90065, Leo. Bring a photo of your business if you want. And uh, come see me. Oh, wait, this one would make, uh, not this one, I do like this one, but uh, this one is a very good uh, card. I just can't find it right now. Uh, 
smaller cards. Of course, you can hand out the 4x6 photo as your business card, couldn't you? You don't have it sitting up on your uh, counter there. A couple paper clips will hold, hold up this uh, image. And yeah, of course, you laminate that to get rid of that photo paper thing and uh, make it last a little longer. I'll show you this one. Uh, but you got something on your, on your counter and the, yeah, a little whole, whole big handful of even a big size, huh? Photo uh, business cards, photo portfolio cards with the handsome ball guy here. They make for some good uh, cards and memorable if nothing else. And uh, Come see me in person later to get those cars made. Maybe you're a florist. You wash windows. Uh, you're a window washing company. Once again, the florist. You're in construction, perhaps. You want to hand out a card with a whole lot of buildings. Landscaping, that's a uh, flower growing by the sidewalk. Landscaping company. You throw lightning bolts. You want to get the word out about that. You hand out your... You make clouds, perhaps. Uh, oh, girls, get my truth if you can't read it. Yet my truth to the world upon your phones and upon your wings. Oh, there's a nice smaller version of that. And it's up to 12 minutes, so I'm going to finish up. i got to make a call or two. But you got to come see the handsome ball guy in person. Oh, my, well, not everybody can see the halo. I am surprised that it showed up in the photo. Let me show you the eyes. There's the eyes the way they look most of my life, and yeah, probably now if you see me from a distance, I'm gonna look brown. This is from March of 2013, and in here somewhere, uh, covered up by the words, is a little bit of the bluest part there that's growing in a year later, I believe. Just before I entered the hospital with uh, the stigmata wounds, I lost 80 pounds in one month. Genetic wounds, not wounds from the outside, and uh, that's what's going on here. Blue-eyed DNA taking over for brown-eyed DNA. You're going to see this circle out here missing, and this circle, this brown stuff in here can be raised at times, and they can also be much lighter color, you know, whitish. Uh, past year plus, I've been taking vitamins, and it seems to have accelerated the process. But if you know what will accelerate the process even more, you know, come tell me. My doctors can't talk about the changing eyes. And they also uh, can't talk about those 93 checks either. They could reach me by phone. Ask them how they do that. Good folks, I'm going to have a problem with you demonstrating America's hijack lifelines. And dangerous people hiding in the shadows with ill intent. And you don't know when else. I guarantee you, if your phone's not allowed to work because of business, political, religious censorship, when you need the fire and police and paramedics, and it's not always about complete censorship. It can be seconds being shaved as they check your political party, what church you go to. If your phone's not allowed to work then, and censorship can also be boring and, su and subtle, yes. If your phone's not allowed to work then, I think you can guess it's probably going to be just as newsworthy as me asking for that 9-11 Flight 93 check for a decade now.
and not getting one of them. No certified mail, no FedEx, no UPS. It's very easily documented censorship. As you, 911 flight 93 checking post in front of uh, that network news anchor, that local news anchor, and in all the public eye, ask him or her, or tell him or her, everything's fake news, guys. Compared to my family's lifeline not working, when else will you not be covering the news when we the people can cover the news with our phones? Oh, I say this. Uh, you can use Trump for this too. Jesus' question, is Barack Hussein Obama a terrorist? I know he has a good, I know he has a name. Oh, a blue-eyed DNA, brown-eyed DNA. A fighting it out with a vocal cords. I know he has a name like a terrorist. A cowardly Hussein name they placed in our White House. But there's something you can ask and answer with your phone, your family's lifeline. 424-229-4140. Oh, that's another, that's one of those gory stigmata ones. I'm a son of Carpenter Mary, dad of Carpenter, working on skyscrapers while I'm marrying. I'm a son of Carpenter Mary, I get to call them stigmata ones. And here is a another hazy a photo of my eye. They don't always turn out. Ninety-nine percent of them do. I think it has something to do with those uh, with high-tech toys. But uh, you know that's up up to you to discern. That's my California Lifeline phone. Don't have it on all the time. The one, the smaller one, four two four two two nine four one four zero is this phone. See that phone in that other guy's hand. As every child in America's lifeline to the firemen, police, paramedics, and make a video of being hijacked. Why well, did the World Trade Center respond to fire engine? It was making the rounds in California. Remembrance tour, as I recall. Make that uh, video of whatever you get when you don't get me. Ask and answer Jesus' question. Is Barack Hussein Obama terrorist? It doesn't matter if the guy's stopping your call to me or stopping your call in an emergency, perhaps. And you know how much of a news story it's going to be if that happened. It doesn't matter if it's a guy in the dirty bed seat or it's some clean-cut guy from Harvard with that cowardly Hussein name that they have placed in their White House. It doesn't matter who's hijacking your call to him. They're still terrorists. Make that video of terrorism run wild. 424-229-4140. Certify your mail, but the, uh, the mail doesn't get the firemen there. Policemen. Make that video, whatever you get when you don't get me, post it, and it's getting up to the 18 minutes. Better turn her off. Uh, you can call it an opportunity house. It's an opportunity for all kinds of good businessmen from all over the world, Leo, to take part in building a better world. But... Uh, yeah, I have to call it Jesus' is Immaculate House. So a thousand points I'd like to be built when you tear down. Great Wall of Evil has just me and some clouds and L.A. and some flowers in my imagery. 24,000 plus examples of my work. You will find at daffodilia.blogspot.com, D-A-F-F-O-D-I-L-I-A, ChristComplex2.wixsite.com, slash daffodilia as well. You're going to find just me. And all that imagery, because of the Great Wall of Evil around me, yes, they can place Trump and uh, Hussein in the White House. Tear it down. Put yourself right here, Leo. Let me drive folks into your business with the imagery I can design for you. Now back to that. Uh, I have to call Jesus as a Michael House because there will be a test at the end. I hear it's pass, fail, or purgatory. 